I know that Summer Freya is not in the biggest spotlight right now because LR Askinor dropped alongside her. But this character is very good, so I'm going to finish summoning for her and might take a spin after summoning as well for this video. The banner itself is... Man, Summer Merlin has been in so many banners. And this this woman, alright? She was just given out for free. <laughs> so, I mean, summon your own caution. I would say that if you don't have tier, so if you skip tier, don't summon for Freya. It's just like, she is a PvP only character, and it, the passive says in PvP. And when the passive says in PvP, I didn't like this is gonna be a PvP only character, right? And I cannot see a reason <laughs> in a million years why you would use Freya without tier. It's just they were they were made for each other. The tier and combo team that already existed with Gillane, which was I think the most popular tier team in Ungeared. In Geared Scotty was the most popular one, but in Ungeared, Gillane. Freya is just a better version of Gillane, enhancing the tier team. But if you don't have them, uh, sounds very uncompelling reason to summon, you know? Summoning because you just want to have her, fair enough. You know, if you summon for her because you want the summer outfit. I saw some people say that. Hey man, I can't blame you, but I'm just telling you that if you don't have tier, no reason. Although tier, man, I, I, I was talking about it. it, it is worth summoning for tier, he's just that insane. He's just that crazy. I am not the biggest fan of original characters, but I, ob I am objectively, you know, I'm in an objective mindset when I'm ranking or rating characters, you know? Even if I... Ooh, nice. Okay. Even if I am not 100%, you know, the most optimistic about these 40 a year, 40, hmm, 60 a year original characters, you know, I can't lie when they're just, when they're just super, super good, right? So, there's that. The, uh, the, the tier and the Freya combo seems to be very, very good, but we're gonna be, after recording here, here as well, we're gonna be taking a, another spin with Freya in Ungeared because I only have played with her in Geared so far. And I wanna see what she can do. Oh, it's the new LR! Uh, what she can do in Ungeared as well. Where, you know, it was actually the place people were using the kind of team, anyways, with Gillane. So she, she's really strong, though. I think, pound for pound, the only reason why Gillane would be better is stance removal and that's you know that is very objective you know that the stance removal is an aspect of her that freya just cannot compete with but damage wise from what i've seen from freya is just it's a different level because gillane can hit very hard on the targeted enemy but if you go you know her damage and all of the enemies freya just beats her no comparison, so. There is definitely that. Okay. I've been hoping for, like, some Asker animations. I think I've pulled, like, two Liz's. That's good, I think. I didn't, like, 6-6 six, six that Liz when she came out, because, my god, why would I? Uh, been kind of looking for an Asker animation, because why not? LR Asker just came out. Okay. I need three more. Although, so I'm, I'm doing two rotations. If I don't 6-6 six, six her, I don't 6-6 six, six her. It's whatever, right? But this is the, the kind of character that... Oh! Nice. This is the kind of character that I don't mind having 6-6. Six, six. It's just good. <laughs> and it's alright. It's whatever. I'm getting pretty lucky on the... This, this, these summons anyways, because the first... I did one rotation really quickly, because I wanted to get the showcase out of the way so I could grind for Askenor's medals. And I got no Freyas. I only got the guaranteed, which is whatever. It's better to have a guaranteed than to, you know, not have one at all. I always say that. Even if I get shafted, at the very least, guaranteed exists in this game. Because I play games with no guaranteed, okay? I got back into Bleach Brave Souls. Because I've got a lot of free time not playing Black Clover. 
Uh, <laughs> and my god, not having pity is sad. Very sad. Okay. Oof. Oh, actually, you know, I'm not gonna expand too much on why I'm not playing Black Clover on this particular video. But if you guys are interested, I could make a video explaining. I'm, I'm kind of quitting Black Clover right now. I'm not gonna go too deep into it. It's just... The game isn't good right now. That That's like the, the TLDR. The game isn't good right now. Global version has a lot of promise because the global version actually is listening to criticism and feedback. But the Korean version just apparently doesn't give a shit. <laughs> it's just, it's what it seems like. It's what it seems like. Okay. Uh, SSR. PDSSR, please. Summer Merlin. It's fine, even if we only get a guaranteed right now, I'll be... I'll be okay with it, that'll be 5-6. Five, 5-6 six. Five, six is very good. I'm mainly just summoning for CC, because when I have... <laughs> when I have both Freya and Tyr on the, t on the team, and they're doing monstrous amounts of damage, it's... <laughs> like, what is even the point of having ults that do more damage when you're not even gonna get to see the ults anyways, right? It, it, so... There is that, but yeah, regardless of it, I think it's worth having for the CC, for me personally. I think if you're gonna pull for Freya, if you are dead set on pulling for Freya, you don't need dupes, because the team that she's made, she's not meant to be on, but the team that people are gonna be using her on doesn't need to go first. Like, people are using Ghislaine team to go second, right? Because you have Tauntons here and you have the, the target, and Freya does the exact same thing as Ghislaine, where the high CC character can only attack her. And because of that, you don't need to go first, and also you don't need CC from the dupes. And like I mentioned, I find it highly unlikely that you end up seeing her ultimate very often, with your team doing the amount of damage it does. So, I wouldn't chase dupes. Like, if you pull her in the first multi, the free one, right? I would just say, good, hang on, to your gems for next banner, or use gems to buy her costumes or something, if that's what you would want to do with it. Askenor, please give me a Freya here. <laughs> Alright, I, I, I always skip animations because I'm tired of seeing them. You know, I, uh, I installed Dragon Ball Legends for 10 minutes because Vegito Blue came out and I like Vegito Blue. And my god, there's so many cool animations in that game. You know, I saw when I pulled the Ultra Vegito. The animation I got was Goku was already in Super Saiyan Blue, and then and then Golden Freeze and him were doing the clash, and then Broly came out out of nowhere, threw a ball at me, then I fused with Vegeta, became Vegito Blue, cut the ball in half. Like, bro, there's so much shit going on with those animations, and we have nothing to show in years. We got that Escanor Ultimate animation. That we saw in two banners. Oh, come on, one more chance. And then that was it. Alright, that was it. Come on. You. You fine lady. Either way. Oh, oh too quick. Let's, uh, let's give, give her a spin. Okay. Never mind. Mmm. Lots of blue. Nice. Let's do an AoE here to start off. And I'll go with this right here, actually. We are not lowering the core resistance, but she ignores 50%, which means nothing, I guess. <laughs> Alright, that killed. Which means nothing, I guess, because she missed most of them. What? Good. Great. Great. That's nice. Now, yeah. the Goddess team is the only team in the game that you're not going to do crazy numbers on because they can't be lowered by tier. But it doesn't matter because they're not doing any numbers on you either. Like, look how little damage my L did. 
comparatively to when he was, you know, actually good. It's just, goddesses are not going to do that much damage to you, you're not going to do that much damage to them, so it's going to be a long match. Yeah, let's kill that goddess, Liz. Yep. Make sure she's gone, because her shield is the biggest annoyance. Now that... Ah, oh, Father was going to kill as well. We can see here, actually. Oh, he had Tristan for the 45% the defense miss. That's, that's why we missed those crits. Okay. So, like, even though I was ignoring 50% core resistance, she had very high core resistance, nonetheless. Honestly, single target by, t by uh, Mael on Freya. I don't know if you noticed, by the way, we cleansed that debuff, which is nice. Cool single target, bro. 40% damage reduction from her passive towards the enemy that has the the mark. The one thing that I have to give, of course, to Ghislaine, though. Freya doesn't do increased damage to that enemy, right? She doesn't do any increased damage to the enemy that has the mark, like Ghislaine does. But she compensates by doing more general damage. So I think that that's fine. Oh, speaking, I was talking about we're gonna never gonna see her ultimate. We'll take a look at it. Although, you know, ulting one character with her is kind of, <laughs> you know, not the best. Because her ult is meant to hit a bunch of enemies, then the damage does hit again. But... Doesn't matter, at least we actually see the ending screen and everything like that. Yeah, people really like this outfit. I don't know why. Ooh, like here, Bon is charmed, so he can't crit and slow in my tier. What we even do is just this. No, no, no. Okay. I <laughs> might be over expecting here, but I think Freya can do some crazy damage on Meliodas. I didn't expect to kill the end, I just wanted to waste those attacks there. Yeah, look at that. If you combine, you know, the fact that Freya ignores 50% core resistance to tiers 40% core resistance lower, you're gonna crit every hit with that attack. It's 90%. <laughs> it's a minus 90% core resistance. It's insane. It's insane. They... they Made so every character has a crazy amount of core resistance just for them to release characters that ignore them. Let's do this. She's gonna cleanse one debuff and increase her stats by 5%, I think. Which doesn't matter because we just killed them anyways because our team hit so hard. Light Liz. Lost Vein got the charm on him. If you're facing a Lost Vein, he's always gonna have it because he just has a crazy amount of CC. He has the high CC, right? So, regardless, if you face him, he's gonna be the guy <laughs> with the charm. But the one thing is, right? You gotta keep in mind with charm. It works just like Gillane, where let's say you rank up Lost Vein to a level 3. Right, because, oh, he has the charm, so he's going to do 40% last damage, right? Wrong. He's, he, the debuff on top of his head doesn't lower his damage by 40%. It lowers his damage on Freya specifically. So if you give him a level 3 AoE, and he does a level 3 AoE, guess what? Your other characters will die. <laughs> the only person that he does 40% last damage to is Freya. Don't forget that. Yeah, I'll just do this. Don't forget that. Very important to keep that in mind. Ah, I was hoping they'll kill. Doesn't matter. I mean, she's gonna crit every hit on melee anyways, because he has very low crit resistance. Now, imagine if this guy, right? Lowered crit resistance and crit defense right after Lost Vein's release. Like, <laughs> right after Lost Vein comes out, they release a character that not only lowers crit resistance, but also crit defense, which is the one thing that keeps him from not just getting obliterated. 
Yeah. We were very close. They could have given that Shafreya's card as well. Hmm. Well, before that guy rudely left the game, mind you, I was gonna talk about the good thing about ignoring core resistance over lowering core resistance is that it actually works against characters like Mayo and Askinor, and who knows, like, there are only two characters where that would be relevant right now. Or I guess, when you're facing Mayo, it's the whole team, right? But still. Uh, that doesn't mean that in the future, there won't be characters that will come out with the ability to not be lowered, right? There's nothing stopping. Nothing stopping them from making more characters like that, so ignoring is good. I really wonder what they can do with more characters that will have cards like these, where part of the card ignores core resistance and the other part does double crit damage, right? There's gonna be a new festival release in two weeks' time, and I wonder if they will implement something like that. Let's like first with Freya. Test out that. Ignoring. Yeah. Like, he, he wasn't really being lowered by by tier. But she was ignoring his core resistance, so... Oh no, she's a very strong character. I'll make more videos on her, but you gotta keep in mind, Askinor is number one priority right now, so... You will see more Askinor videos than Freya videos. Just how it is. But she's really good.